Hello, this is Ms. Birch and I will be going over a tutorial today on how to, for you to use um, Inspire to find resources for your argumentative essay. So you will want to open Clever on your school computer. That's where I am now. Mine look, will look, looks a little different from yours, but you still have the same applications. Just maybe not as many. So we're going to go under FWCS applications, and then if you'll look right beside Flipgrid, there should be um, one that says Inspire. Inspire is the Indiana State Library, and we have free access to that. It's where you're going to find educational journals and resources that we know are trusted uh, from trusted sources. These are going to be original articles, not hearsay, not fake news, but original. So you will just type in, after you figure out what topic you've chosen, you will uh, just type it in, uh, in the search bar. So I'm going to type in, I chose cloning, um, a human cloning. So I'm just going to type in um, human cloning and see what we come up with. My, my um, laptop has been lagging, so it's taken us a few minutes. So once that, uh, using that keyword, here's what has come up. And if you'll notice, there are 672,407 different um, items for me to choose from. Now, if I want to find which side of cloning I would be on, like you don't know what which side you want to argue, uh, there always is a research starter. Here is the cloning debate. It take it shows you both sides, why you could be for it, why you could be against it. So if you ever want to know on your subject um, what both sides are saying about the argument, then you could click on this research starter, okay? And it will go through and it will tell you, it lays everything out. It gives you all the facts in an overview. Now, I am going to narrow down this 672,000 by doing this. The best way to do that is when I scroll down over to the left hand side, you can filter by format. And I'm going to use click on academic journals. And then I am also going to scroll back down after choosing those. And you'll see it narrowed it to 576,469. I'm also going to scroll down and I'm going to click on magazines, which that adds another 34,000 or so. Magazines are great articles that will often debate both sides because you, you will get the facts from both sides and someone who is for and against it. Now, once I did that, I've ended up with 610,522. Now, I am ready. After I've gone and I've seen that I've gotten the journals, the educational journals and the magazines, <coughs> now I am ready to go through and find an article, more than one. So you will look at the title and then you can click on like this one, say no to human clones, first monkeys and then us. There's no good reasons why reproductive cloning must stay off limits, it says. So I can go here and click on this full text. It does not have a PDF. and I, I want to see the full text, and it is an entire article. Now, the article can be read to you. You can listen to it, and you can read it. Now, in order to save this so that you can use it as one of your resources, you are going to save it with your tools over here in Google Drive. So, this is one I want to save because I would be, I'm against human cloning. Let's just say I am, and it says say no to it. And this is one of the articles that I want to be able to read through 
and I'll have to sift back through and find it again once I get off this computer. So I'm going to save it in Google Drive. And guess what? I then just sign in. And it tells me, da da, it's been saved. So I click OK. Now, I can continue and go back and continue to search and find more articles. And if you will notice, there's other ways to see the full text, a PDF. If I'm gonna use a PDF, I simply click it. And if that's one of the items that I want to use, I still can save it on Google Drive by doing this. Just clicking the Google Drive button and it tells me once I've already signed in to, to Google that first time, it tells me that it saved it. Know that, that I have that those articles saved for sure. I don't have to print them. I'll just have them for um, my teacher to look at. In order to check and make sure, I can go to the Google Apps and click on Google Drive. And you know what? They're going to appear if I if I actually save them. And there it is, right there in my Google Drive. Ta-da. Uh, now, if I wanted to save, I can save those and attach them for my teacher. So, here we are back on Inspire. You will continue to go through and pick out more than, you're going to want to pick out more than five to start with so that you can actually review it, see if there's quotes that you can use from it. You don't, so I would say I would get a good eight, get eight articles because some of them you may not be able to use, but the, at least this way it's saved to your Google Drive. So when you come back on the computer, you can see these. Now, um, this is how you will do your research for your argumentative essay to, and be able to get uh, the information that you need to argue your point. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want you to know that I miss each and every one of you. Don't forget, you still need to be reading. Bye guys, have a good day.